So today I'm going to show you how to set up a noise gate in Open Broadcast Studio for your recordings and actually it works, uh, works live as well for your streams. It can really be useful to improve the quality of your recordings just through um, essentially making it more consistent and then filtering out a lot of like background noise type things and especially when you're not talking it will completely eliminate noise so that really helps if you have any small noises going on in the background. So it's a pretty simple process. Um, first thing to do is just click on whatever, well, essentially go to whatever audio source you have capturing. So in my case, it's my Blue Yeti right here. And I'm just gonna hit the settings over here and then go to filters. So I have two filters set up so you can use multiple at the same time. But the one I'm gonna talk about today is the noise gate. So to add one, just right click in the window over here to the left and then go to add. And then in just select noise gate, it's gonna ask for a name. I just left mine as noise gate. There's a few options here, and I'll kind of walk you through how to set up each one and what they're all used for. So I pretty much have the defaults here, and you can just copy my settings if what I'm sounding like sounds good to you. But you do need to keep in mind that every mic is slightly different, so you're probably going to have to adjust these a little bit. So the first one is the close threshold. That one is if the noise drops below that level, then the microphone will stop recording, essentially. So this one always needs to be lower than your open threshold. So your open is when you get louder than that volume, it's going to start recording. So it's kind of like a ramping up and then ramping down. So if you are just sitting quietly for a while, it's not going to record at all. And then you start talking and you're going to pass above this threshold. Then it's going to start recording again. Once you've been talking for a while, whatever you stop talking, it's going to wait until it gets below this threshold to turn off. So it's kind of a like a hysteresis type thing. There's a few things that you can control that fade in and fade out. And that's these options down here. So the only thing with your close threshold, it always needs to be lower than your open. And then essentially you should adjust your close first. And then after that, you can adjust your open and the default seems to work pretty well. But again, it really depends on your microphone and how loud you are and everything. So for the uh, this option right here, the attack time, that's how soon after it opens, it's going to start recording. So even though like if you get above 26 dB, it's not going to immediately start recording. It's going to take an extra 25 milliseconds and that can help filter out some really loud noises. Like, so if you like hit your microphone or if you drop something or make a loud noise, it's not going to catch the really sharp uh, noise that that creates. It's going to wait 25 milliseconds. So a lot of that noise will have subsided. How to adjust that one kind of is if you're noticing like your voice is getting cut off when you start to talk or it's not capturing some of the things that you wanted, then just turn the attack time down. If you are getting some really sharp bursts there as you fade in, then just turn up the attack time. For the hold time, that's how long it's going to stay on um, after the volume has dropped below this close. That can be helpful that it's going to reduce it from like if you have some slight noise in the background and you kind of talk, but then you quiet down for a second and then come back, or I guess in this case 200 milliseconds, it's not going to turn off the microphone in the meantime. And that is something people would notice that it, if it goes from some subtle background noise to completely quiet and then right back in between your speech, it's going to sound a little stuttery. So that's where the hold time can be. You might want to turn it up a little bit if you're noticing like some cutoffs in your talking. Um, and then you can turn it down if it's capturing some things after you stop talking that you didn't want to capture. And then the release time is a fade out essentially. So even after the hold time has, a, has gone off, it's not just going to like sharply just turn off completely it will take this amount of time to go from 100% audio capture to zero. So it's like 150 millisecond fade out. And again, this is something you can adjust. So if it's um, sounding too sharp to you, like it's sounding really like cut off, then maybe increase the release time so it more gradually fades out. Or maybe you're capturing some stuff that you didn't want to even after the noise has, uh, it has subsided. So then just turn down the release time. So once you've adjusted all of those, um, then do a recording and then probably come back here and, and make some more adjustments or depending on the time of day or whatever, you might need to do these slightly different. Uh, just come back and adjust them. And then whenever you're done, just hit close. And then whenever you start your next recording, then it'll be good to go and uh, it should improve your audio quality quite a bit.